All right, in this video, we are going to try to do 1990 AB4 from the AP Calculus exam. Uh, so 1990 was a long time ago, but this is a related grades problem and still just as valid today. So let's see if we can do it. Uh, the radius R of a sphere is increasing. So dr dt is positive 0.04 centimeters per second. 0.04, really annoying. Uh, it's probably easier to use 1 over 25. We'll see. I, I just find that it's like a little easier to use fractions on these things. Um, but, you know, maybe they chose this for a reason, but I still think uh, centimeters per second. I think I'm going to use this. So it's increasing. That could be 0.04. We'll see which one's better. Um, all right. At the time when the radius of the sphere is 10 centimeters, what is the rate of increase of its volume? So that'd be dv dt when r equals 10. And we were given dr dt, so this seems, seems straightforward so far. So volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So we want to do d dt of v will be equal to d dt of 4 thirds pi r cubed. So that's dv dt. The derivative of v with respect to time is definitely dv dt. I don't know why I keep writing that step out. I think it's actually good that I write it, but like I didn't used to. Um, and then at some point, something in my brain either broke or fixed itself. And now I write it. Um, don't forget when you find the derivative of r, you got a chain rule thing. So a derivative of r cubed is 3r squared times dr dt. So you're going to need that. And now we're just plugging in stuff. So we know that r is going to be 10, and we know dr dt is 1 over 25. So uh, 4 pi mm, 10 squared 1 over 25. OK, so that's going to be dv dt. Strictly speaking, you could leave that answer. I think that's very weird, but like you can. Um, dv dt is. So we get 100, and then divided by 25 is 4, times 4 is 16, so 16 pi. Let's get the units on this. Also, I don't like the way I wrote that pi. 16 pi uh, centimeter, so it's volume, so centimeters cubed uh, per second, cubic centimeters per second. So cm cubed per second. All right, not bad. So. There you go, you write down your volume, derivative with respect to time, be careful about plugging in and you're pretty good. At what time when the volume, nope, at the time when the volume of the sphere is 36 pi cubic centimeters, what is the rate of increase of the area of a cross section through the center? So that's just a circle, right? You have a sphere and you go cut it straight through the middle circle. So we're gonna find uh, dA dt for, well, let's, okay. Let's, let's think about this, we got, Area is pi r squared. We were told the volume, this is just an annoying algebra one question. So we know the volume is 36 pi. So we're trying to find dA dt when uh, v is 36 pi. All right, so then uh, 4 thirds pi r cubed is 36 pi. My fear is that they're going to like throw some garbage number at us. All right, so the pi's divide out. 36 divided by 4 is 9 times 3 is 27. Cube root of 27 is 3. So r is 3. OK, so this is not seeming that bad, actually. dA dt is 2 pi r dr dt. Unless I'm doing it wrong. I don't think I am, but um, R is going to be 3. The RDT is that 1 over 25 that we've used that was given. So 3, so 2 pi. The ADT is 2 pi. 3 is what we solved for. 1 over 25 was given. So the ADT equals 6 pi over 25 when volume is 36 pi. Okay, I think, I don't know. I don't know what the like, maybe like knowing this, that the area of a cross section is just gonna be a circle, but like, 
uh, and they don't tell you that, but like it's a sphere, so I don't know. All right. At the time when the volume and radius are increasing at the same numerical, okay, so dv dt will equal dr dt. And I and they're they're both going to be this, I guess. It probably isn't relevant. It'll probably like cancel itself out. So find r. Basically, we want to find r. Find r when that's supposed to say when when uh, dr dt equals dv dt. My v's and r's are like dangerously close to each other. At the time when the volume and radius are increasing at the same numerical rate, what is the radius? Okay. Um, okay, so volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So then dv dt, I feel like, I don't know, 4 pi r squared dr dt. But since this is the case, like you can basically say, you know, dr dt equals four pi r squared dr dt. So uh, one is four pi r squared. So r squared is one over four pi gross. So r is one over two root high centimeters like it's not a nice answer but like i don't know why you know why not like why why not sure um because why like why is this is this an important time i don't know is this like an engineering thing when like it's sometimes really important when the radius and volume are increasing at exactly the same numerical rate could be could not be who knows uh all right so i'm gonna leave that so we got uh, all of these answers. And uh, I didn't like highlight them or anything. Remember when you highlight the answer though, like your answer is the entire thing. It's like, you're not just gonna write down a numerical answer. That is a, that's a no, a hard no in AP calculus to just write down an answer. It's all your work, nice, neat, organized. I'd be happy seeing this work. So that is 1990 uh, AB4. And I hope this was helpful and good luck.